first time I've seen the car since we left it in Victory Lane, so it's uh, really neat to put the car in the Daytona 500 experience. It's uh, authentic, it's got all the confetti on it, uh, just like we raced it, so it's, uh, it's really neat to see it sit there. Uh, it's a huge honor to have it sit here for a year and for all the fans to be able to enjoy it. They talked about the rain, it was shortened a little bit, but we actually went on overtime here and did some did a green-white checker and some extra laps, so uh, they're actually going to give me credit for those extra laps toward the one that was rain-shortened. So uh, if we have a couple more going to overtime, we'll be back to even. Wednesday morning, a couple months after the race, to see all these race fans uh, turn out here just uh, really shows their uh, their passion and commitment for the sport. It's uh, This is a great tradition they started, and I think it's really neat for the fans to be able to come down and uh, be a part of that and be able to see the car and touch it and stand by it and get a picture and all that. All that. Kind of a, a bizarre race, so I mean, I might as well just just continue that and do the do the breakfast a couple months later. But um, it's really kind of fun, you know. You, we had a little break this weekend. You get to come back and think about the first race of the year and how hard we work for the Daytona 500, and um, you know, get ready to go to Texas and keep it rolling. Fast race car, you know, is the main thing, and uh, Jimmy had a, a good strategy. My um, guys had a really good pit stop on the last stop and got us out ahead of everybody, got us ahead of especially our teammate, uh, Greg Biffle. He was just unbelievably fast, and if we went to got out in front of him, I don't think we would have won because I don't I don't think I could have passed him on the track. So uh, that was really important, and then um, uh, positioning, all them restarts. You know, Greg was second, I was first. I was able to get up in front of him and, and, and get him and, and give him a toe, and he'd give me a push, and we'd get away from the rest of the field and, and work our way to the bottom. And once we got in the bottom and we were nose, the tail, um, it was, it was going to be pretty hard to get around us because our cars had a lot of speed. Yeah.